This is Queen Letizia of Spain, a commoner turned royal, now living a life of luxury, opulence, and privilege, while remaining dedicated to advocacy for education, healthcare, and public service. Born Letizia Ortiz Rocasolano on September 15, 1972, in Oviedo, Spain. She grew up in a working class family with her father, Jesus Jose Ortiz Alvarez, working as a journalist, and her mother, Maria de la Paloma Rocasolano Rodriguez, as a nurse. During her studies, Ortiz worked for the Asturian daily newspaper paper, La Nueva España. After graduating from the Complutense University of Madrid with a degree in journalism, Letizia's career took off rapidly. She worked for various newspapers and news agencies, including ABC and EFE. Her talent soon caught the attention of major media outlets, leading to positions at CNN Plus and Television Española. In September 2001, she broadcast live from Ground Zero following the 9 by 11 attacks in New York, and in 2003, she filed reports from Iraq following the war and the 2000 U.S. presidential election. Letizia met Prince Felipe, heir to the Spanish throne, at a dinner party hosted by a mutual friend in 2002. Their relationship was kept secret until their engagement announcement in November 2003, which shocked many Spaniards who were unaware of Letizia's connection to the royal family. The Prince of Asturias had proposed to her with a 16 baguette diamond engagement ring with a white gold trim. She marked the occasion by giving him white gold and sapphire cufflinks and a classic book. On May 22, 2004, Letizia married Prince Felipe in a lavish ceremony at the Almudena Cathedral in Madrid. The event was attended by over 1,500 guests, including royalty from around the world and watched by millions on television. Letizia's bridal gown was designed by Spanish fashion designer Manuel Pertegas, her bridal shoes by Pura Lopez, and the veil, a gift from Felipe to his bride, was made of off-white silk tulle and hand-embroidered with detailing. The transition from journalist to princess brought significant changes to Letizia's lifestyle. She moved into Zarzuela Palace, the residence of the Spanish royal family. This complex on the outskirts of Madrid features 11 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a swimming pool, tennis court, gym, cinema, and helipad. The palace grounds boast beautiful gardens with fountains, sculptures, and exotic plants. As a royal, Letizia gained access to a world world of luxury and privilege. In addition to Zarzuela Palace, she has access to other royal properties across Spain, including the Royal Palace of Madrid, the Royal Palace of El Pardo, the Royal Palace of La Almudaina, and the Maravent Palace. The royal family also owns a private villa in Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands, where they spend summer holidays. Queen Letizia's wardrobe is also amazing. Estimated to be worth over $1 million, it features designer pieces from Chanel, Dior, and Gucci. She often wears clothes by Spanish designers like Felipe Varela, and Carolina Herrera. Her style choices range from elegant gowns for state dinners to more casual yet smart outfits for day-to-day -day engagements. The Queen's jewelry collection is particularly impressive, featuring historic pieces passed down through generations of Spanish royalty. One of the most valuable pieces is the Fleur de Lis Tiara, a magnificent diamond-encrusted heirloom dating back to the early 20th century. The Fleur de Lis Tiara is said to have been given to Queen Victoria Eugenia by King Alfonso III in the early 1900s. This tiara, along with other pieces like the Joyas de Passar, form an important part of the Spanish royal heritage. This tiara, along with other pieces like the diamond and sapphire earrings, worth an estimated 1.3 million pounds. Transportation for the royal family is equally luxurious. They have access to a fleet of high-end vehicles, including an Audi A8, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, and a Range Rover. For longer journeys or international trips, they use private jets or helicopters, ensuring comfort and security in their travels. Despite the opportunity of her new life, Queen Letizia has not forgotten her roots or her passion for making a difference. She has used her position to advocate various causes, particularly in education, healthcare, and women's rights. One of her most notable initiatives has been her focus on rare diseases. In 2008, she met with representatives from rare disease organizations at Zarzuela Palace, listening to their needs and concerns. Queen Letizia's advocacy has had a significant impact. Juan Carrion, president of the Spanish Federation of Rare Diseases, stated, Thanks to her, the topic of rare diseases has been pushed right up the political agenda. Her involvement has given visibility to issues that were previously overlooked. In addition to her work on rare diseases, in June 2015, Letizia was named Special Ambassador for Nutrition for the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. In this role, she has spoken at international forums about the importance of addressing global health and nutrition challenges. Her background in journalism has proven valuable in articulating complex issues to a wide audience. The Queen's commitment to education 
is evident in her annual opening of the school year. In 2018, she visited a primary school in her hometown of Oviedo, interacting with students and teachers. Her presence draws attention to educational issues and often leads to increased support for schools. Despite the glamour of her public life, Queen Letizia faces challenges. The intense media scrutiny can be difficult to navigate. In 2018, an incident at an Easter service in Mallorca, where she appeared to block Queen Sophia from taking a photo with her granddaughters, sparked controversy. The media reaction was intense, demonstrating the pressure Letizia faces in her role. Queen Letizia's relationship with her mother-in-law, Queen Sophia, has been a subject of public interest. While Queen Sophia remains popular with the Spanish public, Letizia has had to carve out her own identity within the royal family. Queen consort, Letizia plays a crucial role in supporting King Felipe VI. Together, they represent Spain at numerous state events and diplomatic functions. Their state visits abroad and receptions of foreign dignitaries at home are important aspects of their royal duties. These events often showcase the luxury and protocol associated with royal life, from state banquets to formal ceremonies. The couple's approach to raising their daughters, Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia, reflects their desire to modernize the monarchy. They enrolled the girls in public schools and encouraged them to learn different languages and cultures. Princess Leonor, as heir to the throne, is being prepared for her future role. On her 13th birthday, she read from the Spanish Constitution, Spain is a social and democratic state subject to the rule of law. The political form of the Spanish state is the parliamentary monarchy. She frequently travels abroad, representing Spain at international events. Her fluency in several languages and her professional background as a journalist make her an effective ambassador for her country. These international engagements often involve staying in luxurious accommodations and attending high-profile events. The Queen's efforts have contributed to an increase in support for the Spanish monarchy. A recent survey showed that 62% of Spaniards support the monarchy, up from less than 50% in 2014. This increase is attributed in part to the modern image projected by King Felipe and Queen Letizia. The luxurious lifestyle of Queen Letizia is not just about material possessions, but also about the unique experiences and opportunities that come with her position. She has access to world-class art collections, attends exclusive cultural events, and interacts with global leaders and influential figures. Queen Letizia's daily routine also reflects her royal status. She has a team of staff, including personal assistants, hairdressers, and stylists, who help maintain her public image. Her schedule is meticulously planned, balancing official duties, charitable work, and family time. The Queen's influence extends to the realm of culture and the arts. She regularly attends theater performances, art exhibitions, and musical concerts. The Queen Sophia Spanish Institute in New York, of which she is an honorary chair, promotes Spanish culture and fosters cultural exchange between Spain and the United States. Queen Letizia's role also involves hosting state dinners and receptions at the royal palaces. These events are characterized by their grandeur, featuring exquisite cuisine, fine wines, and entertainment. The table settings often include valuable royal silver and china, adding to the overall luxury of these occasions. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Infinite Lux for more interesting content.